Hi cats, today I would like to share with you a small tip for those of you who struggle with octaves due to small hands. I myself have a pretty big hand, I never had problems with that, but I used to teach a lot of people with smaller hands, of course, and there is one special trick that seems to work uh, according to what I see from my students, and I actually don't know why, that's a mystery for me but it's actually working, so I hope that it will help you as well. For example, my wife uh, used to play uh, Scrabbin's fourth sonata. She's a brilliant pianist, but she doesn't have big hands. And, and some spots uh, like that one, like with that uh, leap in the left hand, that's supposed to be like at 24th or something like typical Scrabbin. She didn't really feel comfortable. And trying to help, I just suggested her to think just about the thumb, so not thinking about the whole octave, but just concentrating on the thumb. And strangely enough, it worked. And she immediately felt like more secure in that spot. So what you need to do for that, you are just concentrating on the stability of your thumb. If you didn't watch a video about the thumb, please watch it. Somehow this small mental trick apparently helps uh, getting better quality. And recently I had another opportunity to check this guess with a younger student who desperately wanted to play um, that piece by Mozart. And although I thought that this piece is a bit too advanced for him, I allowed him to play it because sometimes, you know, when uh, children want to play some piece desperately, even if the piece is a bit too difficult for them, through this love to the piece, they somehow achieve uh, a pretty good result in it and that helps them to grow faster. So I allowed him to play this piece and he did very well indeed. But one spot was giving him a very hard time, like that. Because he barely reaches octave, and there are like so many octaves and black keys, white keys, and so on. So he couldn't just get it right. And we were working on some release between octaves that I'm going also to explain a little bit uh, later in this video. But it just didn't work somehow. So I also suggested him to think about the thumb mostly and playing the fifth finger just lighter and somehow it worked again and immediately he started to play this passage m with much better precision like perfect after not being playing this passage at all so it was a huge leap in uh, quality so it seems to work and i don't really know why i would really love to have some scientific explanation of that if you have some guess please write in comments, I would be really happy to hear your thoughts on this topic. And another thing that is very essential when you play octaves uh, or other white structures is learn them slowly at first and release your hands immediately between them. So it means like in, in the case with Mozart, you hit those keys with stable fingers, like of course you need a stable fifth finger and a stable thumb for an octave. Both those topics are covered on my channel, so check it out. And hit those notes with uh, precise fingers, with stable fingers and released wrist, and then release your fingers immediately. And proceed to the next one. Always releasing fingers in between. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to uh, show that on some wider structures because uh, playing octave, let's say it's not a problem for me. So I'm going to play 12s, okay? So just so you see that I'm really struggling <laughs> as much as you do if you have small hands. So I would play not like, not something like that, but something like that, that is very challenging for me. Uh, so here, what is very important if I would learn something like that is to hit those notes and release your fingers immediately and then proceed to the next one. And then usually, you know, when you have uh, some passage, sometimes you have just one note that is really difficult. So for example, that is not difficult for me, but that one is very tricky. So I really have to understand which exactly note is the most uncomfortable. When I learned that, first of all, I have to release my hands before I approach this note, like releasing hands, regrouping them, grasping that note, releasing again, and going further. And the second tip while learning, try to give yourself a little bit of time just, you know, to adjust, to get rid of tension. 
some time, release, grasp. So you always use a little bit of time at first and then when you feel yourself comfortable with that time, you reduce the time trying to release your hands as good as before. So a little bit of time, then a little bit less of time. So that's it for today and have fun playing piano.